I always thought my neighbours were quite nice people. And then they put a password on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so as we know, a lot of people have been buying the new 4K Fire Stick. So in this video today, we're going to show you how to set it up the proper way. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, this is going to be a setup guide. Yes, a lot of it will be for beginners, but even for the advanced users, there are some things in here that you may not have done yet. So do make sure you stay tuned through the video. And one thing I will say is do share this video around with friends and family. Right then, so when you first launch the Fire Stick, Obviously, it comes up like this once you've set up your internet connection. When you click on I already have an Amazon account, I know it's obvious, but if you're wanting to download any apps whatsoever onto your device, then do bear in mind you do need to use an account with bank details linked to it. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the Amazon App Store. Right, so as you can see, successfully registered, and I know that does look obvious to a lot of people, but when you do log in using an account without them linked up, do bear in mind that you may not be able to download things. Right, so on the 4K Fire Stick controller, you're going to see there is a volume feature. A lot of people have been having problems with this. Simply choose the make of your telly and wait and see if you hear the sound. Ding dang lidoo, that's done. <laughs> you're going to get a long ass video that you didn't use to be able to skip. Just press right on the remote and skip through that bad boy. Right then, so we're loaded up, we're ready to start off. So first of all, a lot of people don't do this, but it is really something you should consider doing. So if we go to settings, and then this is a must anyway, you go across to My Fire TV. Once you've clicked on that, you're going to go down to developer options and make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on. This is going to allow you to download and install third party apps to your device. And then I always enable the ADB debugging as well. If you are wanting to use a mobile phone to sideload apps to your Fire Stick, using apps to fire the app, you click on about, go down to network, and you're going to see you've got your IP address and things. Right, so from my Fire TV, go across to preferences, and you're going to find all these different options here. If you click on parental controls, they're going to be off. You can turn them on if needed. Privacy settings, device usage data. We want to turn that off. Collect app usage data, we want to turn that off, and interest based ads, we want to turn that off. This is just so Amazon aren't collecting too much data about you and what you're using. You've got data monitoring, that's off. So you've got notification settings, if you click on that, you're going to see it says app notifications. There's no apps installed at the moment, but when you are installing them, I would recommend coming in here and turning off the notifications. Right, so now you're good to go, you're ready to install stuff to your device. One question a lot of people do ask is once I've installed everything onto it, can I sign out of that account and sign into a different account? The answer is yes. Simply, once you've installed stuff, you can go to my account, click on where it says there, click deregister, and then sign in with whatever account and all the apps will still be on there. Right, so once you're at your home, you're going to go to the search icon at the top right hand corner and then type in down or downloader and it will come up underneath. Once we click on that, you're going to see there. We click that one and this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. Click on download, and like I say, once again, if it doesn't download and install, it's because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it is a free app to download, they do require that for some reason, don't know why bell ends, but... <laughs> so that's really the only app you're going to need to get from the Amazon store. One thing I will say, if you're going to be using it for streaming and things like that, I do recommend you do get a VPN. I recommend IP Vanish. I will leave a link in the description down below. But also on my website that I'm going to show you in a moment, there are some free VPNs as well. If you don't know what a VPN is, I will put a video in the top right hand corner now to tell you what it is. Right, so I always go into my applications by going to settings, applications, manage installed applications, and then you can see all your apps that are installed here. I use it this way so when I click on them, I can force stop, clear data, clear cache. Such as if you find an app's not working properly, you can force stop it from here. If you've got, say, Kodi installed and you want to do a fresh install of it, you literally just clear the data and then it gets rid of everything and just takes it back to how you installed it. Not sure what I wanted to say then. <laughs> right, so when we launch Downloader, very important, make sure you allow the permissions. If you don't allow the permissions, you will start to see problems when trying to install stuff from Downloader. So we click Allow, and then we click OK. 
What you first of all, what you want to do is go across to the left hand side, go to settings, enable the JavaScript. It looks like it's already enabled now as default, but do make sure that is enabled. We're going to go home and then enter this URL exact as I type it. Right, so as you can see, let's crack on .org. So you may have to pause the video just while you type it in, but once it's typed in, you're going to click on go. So once that's loaded up, you're going to see the hamburger menu at the left hand side there. If you click on that, it should bring up a drop down menu, but the new update of downloader isn't allowing it. So what you can do is add this URL instead to go into the download. So let's crack on .org forward slash downloads. Or another thing you can do is click on the hamburger menu on the controller. Or go to the hamburger menu in downloader. Click on that. Go to full screen mode. And it'll bring it up like this and then you can click on whatever you want to click on. So if I go to downloads. And then we'll scroll down until we find file links. File linked is going to be your new best friend, no doubt. And whatever you don't find on file linked, you'll be able to find on this page here. So you've got mouse toggle, fire TV, you've got different puffing browser, the YouTube app. Keep scrolling down, you've got media players, a lot of people like to use such as MX player. Lime player, which is now required for Showbox. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And if you like your retro gaming, there's also an app down there as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on file linked and then it's going to take us through to the download page. Scroll down until you see the blue download button. Click on this and then we're going to see that pretty green looking thing there. So hit that mother clucker <laughs> and then you're going to see it's going to start automatically downloading. Once again, if you are having problems downloading anything or getting error connection, do make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on inside your settings and my fire TV. And also make sure your JavaScript is enabled as well. And then make sure you've allowed the permissions inside Downloader. So once you've done that, you're going to go across to install. Then once it's finished, we're going to hit done. What you should really do is hit delete and delete again. But if you do forget to do this, what you can do is go across to files on the left hand side. You see the download there. And as you can see, the file size is 9.5 megabytes. If you don't delete the downloads, it's going to take up your storage pretty quick on your device. And these are not needed anymore, so do make sure you delete them. Simply to delete that, you long hold the middle button and then hit delete. Done. Right, so once you've installed File Links, you're almost ready to go. But for those who don't know, when you're using File Links, you do need a code to access a certain store, as there's hundreds, if not thousands, out there to choose from. So what you can do is visit Let's Crack On .org on your mobile device, PC, or even on Downloader. And you're going to see the top menu there, you can see it says File Link Codes. Or I have left it underneath where the File Link Download is. See the best File Link Codes for 2019. So if you click on the File Link Codes, it'll take you through to this page. And then start scrolling down and you're going to see a code list. And it's going to start bringing up loads of different codes. Some codes with pins as well. So there's a lot for you to choose from there. You simply put that code into file linked and then it'll bring up that person's store or the store they recommend. To get off full screen mode is click the hamburger menu on the controller again. Exit full screen mode, it'll take you back to this stage. And what I would recommend doing if you're going to be using such as the downloads page in Let's Crack On .org a lot, the hamburger menu again, we click on that and you can add the current page to favorites go down and click on save and then every time you launch downloader then you can access it direct so if i go off downloader i launch the application again i don't want to have to keep typing in the url so i go down to favorites and it's there you just click on that and it'll load it direct like that you can do this with any url as well but it just makes everything so much quicker and then as you can see when we go back into his applications you can see the the file link that we installed and you click on that you can launch the application you're good to go you can see where it's highlighted green it says enter code so you just click on that and then from the list we've just shown you on the website you literally just enter a code that you want to use and it's as simple as that the one i always recommend using is five six double zero one treble three it's not too overwhelming and it's all up to date but there are plenty of stores to try that may suit you a bit differently. And also one more thing, if you do want a web browser on here, where you can download easily, you can save bookmarks, view pages. If you've got websites you like using for movies, TV shows, live TV, anything like that, 
A web browser I do like using is Puffin Browser. It works really well. So once again, we go down and we download it. I quickly do this and then show you Puffin Browser. Thought somebody were in my back garden then. Shit, miss them. <laughs> So like I say, once you've installed something, make sure you press delete and delete again. Then if we launch Puffin Browser, launch that bad boy, you're going to see it comes up like this and it's just so easy to use. You go across on start page, you search the URL. It already has a built-in mouse cursor and it doesn't have an hamburger menu so you'll have no problems downloading stuff. So if you click on downloads, download such as APK Grabber, blue download, hit that bad boy. You need to allow permissions, obviously, you'll only have to do this once. So now what is different, a lot of people have been noticing this, you can see it says not working, repair your download. This doesn't mean it's not downloaded. Long press the middle button, go down and across to start page. You can also bookmark this page as well. Start page, go down the left hand side to downloads and you're going to see the APK you've just downloaded is there and it's that simple, you just install it, done. That's it, you don't even need Downloader anymore. You can actually just use Puffin Browser. I'll just show you as well, long hold that. We go down to bookmark at, bookmark successfully, sorry. I'm not very good at talking today, I do know that. <laughs> now you can scroll down to my bookmark, so you're gonna see it's there, we click on that, done. So that is how you set up a Fire Stick the right way. There are plenty of ways out there, but some of them are very vague. They don't tell you to turn off such as usage data and things. And like I say, with file linked, go ahead to let's crack on .org, click on file linked codes. And once you've typed in one of the codes, it's going to come up with a lot of different apps. And these are going to be for movies, TV shows, live TV, tools, everything. And all you've got to do inside that then is click on the download button. And then once it's downloaded, click on the play button after it, install it and you're done. You're good to go. So I do hope this video has helped you. If you are new to Firestick, welcome. You've found the right place. <laughs> and don't forget to share this around with friends because I think a lot of people will benefit from this. And also do comment down below your thoughts. If there's anything I've not said and you think users will benefit from, do comment down below and let people know. I'll also be in the comment section replying to you as well. So yeah, that's me. It's been a pleasure helping you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!